now ready to cut the drawer front out of the full apron. I've laid the apron onto the full scale drawing and I marked the drawer front uh, with little ticks at the bottom front and back uh, and then I drew a line straight up uh, using a square from the little ticks so that I now have marked the drawer front straight up and down and across the bottom of the apron. The article calls for cutting out this drawer front uh, using the table saw. Create a jig here to rest this curve on and then run it through the table saw to get these two uh, cuts to, to cut out the front and the two sides. Uh, I don't have a bandsaw uh, to make that jig, I can make it other ways. Um, but I figure this is a good opportunity to just use a handsaw to make these cuts. I'm not a hand tool wizard uh, by any stretch, in fact this is a brand new uh, carcass saw from Lee Nielsen and I've just started practicing with it and I'm going to use this uh, to make this cut. So I'm just going to cut um, straight down here from the front. I've marked uh, the front and the edge off my full scale template so I can follow those layout lines. I'll leave it a little bit oversized um, and I think it'll be a lot faster to just cut this by hand rather than trying to set up uh, the table saw using a jig. Uh, so we'll give it a shot. As you can see I'm reusing the clamping form uh, to hold the workpiece in place while I make this cut. Uh, line it up so that the cut should be uh, straight up and down, uh, which obviously helps for sawing. I moved over to the vise just to finish this cut. I've now got the front in three pieces. The two sides and the drawer front. I used the handsaw for this operation and the whole thing took me about 10 minutes to do. The reason I went with the handsaw or the table saw was a couple things. One was speed. As I just mentioned, it took me about 10 minutes to make these two cuts, uh, which is definitely a lot faster than making a jig to hold this flat in the table saw and set up the table saw and run it through. The second reason is control. Uh, with the table saw, in a blink of an eye, you could ruin this piece. Um, with a handsaw, I could follow my layout lines pretty easily and uh, make any corrections if I have to. I left about a sixteenth of an inch oversize. I don't know if you can make out that line. Uh, I left about a sixteenth of an inch on both, hat, both sides. Uh, I knew I'd be cleaning up these sides to get the fit just right anyway, whether I use a table saw or hand saw. So that made the choice really easy to go with the hand saw, follow those lines, and make those cuts really quickly. For this operation I used the Lee Nielsen uh, carcass saw. It's uh, cross cut, 14 uh, points per inch, and is, this saw is great. Uh, cuts really beautifully, very smooth, um, and I'm really happy with this. This is the first project I've used a handsaw, uh, so I'm definitely a novice, uh, but it was really easy to follow those layout lines and make those two cuts.